Hey, 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 Scrappy people, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with the last December daily process video. I decided to put all of my um, final spreads for my December daily in one video, and initially I did talk over this video, so that's why I'm pointing in things, but um, I decided for my own sanity that I would just finish off this album and this video series um, so that it would be done. <laughs> so I am currently working on a spread about baking Christmas cookies and I decided that I was going to add the number directly over this Christmas cookie photo but it was pretty busy so I decided to add a vellum circle over the top just as like a mat for the numbers and I am putting 16 on here because I realize realized after the fact that it was actually day 17 so I do go back and fix it to be day 17 but for right now it says 16 and I'm just going to keep this spread really simple um, I'm using my Fala La Feelings collection because it matches these cookies really well and I decided to add in a bunch of these stickers that are circular to sort of mimic that circular mat that I had for the number so I'm just kind of playing around and deciding what I wanted here. And I'm just going to add these stickers and then this one is going to be pretty much done. I do end up adding a couple of gems as well. I have these red and green gems that are kind of on the large side but I, they've been floating around in my December daily stash for a million years, probably at least 10 now. And I decide they're perfectly red and green for this spread and I decide to add them in here just slowly year by year working my way through these gems trying to get them gone. They're just they're like diamonds instead of enamel dots so they're a little bit on the big side. But I'm gonna frame this number. I decide that they need to be a little bit closer they're actually kind of hard to maneuver around for some reason. So this is the next day, which is day 18. And this spread is about um, all of the end of the year school parties and things that I had to bake for and provide food for and all of that. So the photo is, this photo is of me on the couch being tired and worn out by this process. But um, the photos of the kids are Finn with the Christmas cookies and Joe with his candy and soda for his party, and then Karsten at um, his white elephant gift exchange for his robotics club. So I made sure to get a picture of each kid and their um, celebrations for Christmas at school for this spread. And I'm just gonna add in some um, word strips and some journaling labels for each of these photos just to recap what um, what we were required to bring so the journaling card talks about my feelings about it and then the each of the journaling labels talks about what we actually brought and why so I'm just gonna add each of these to the bottom of every photo just for a little bit of consistency and for ease. At this point, I knew that I was just gonna finish this album in one sitting, so things got less complicated because I gave myself permission to just finish. With um, being a person that scrapbooks on YouTube and who has a fairly active Instagram account sometimes it's easy to get caught up in trying to make everything perfect and beautiful and new and exciting and interesting to look at but at this point this was the day after Christmas and I was just ready to finish and be done and so I gave myself permission to finish the album and what that looks like for me is being a little bit less complicated and putting things in pockets and um not thinking too hard and stressing too much about what I wanted it to, you know, 
the design that I wanted it to have rather than the memories that I wanted to capture. So this is the last spread before Christmas and it is just documentation of the handmade Christmas cards that I made and sort of why I ended up making these cards and it was because um, I actually didn't end up um, buying Christmas presents this year for any of our extended family mostly just because um, I couldn't uh, muscle up the gumption to do it. <laughs> so that's what that talks about. This is a collage that I made in Photoshop of the Christmas Eve photo booth that my mom set up. Um, I decided that the best way to deal with all of these photos was to create a collage in Photoshop, so I decided to go with something circular rather than um, square for the photos, so I just kind of did a clean collage and I put the title and the journaling on that side of the paper or on that side of the spread. Sort of a circular Brady Bunch feel like the Brady Bunch intro credits feel. Just something a little bit fun and different and this actually leads me to what I want to talk about for my project life for next year and I'm not sure that I'm going to do an actual video on this but I'm definitely changing my project life up next year and one of the big things that I'm going to do, be doing is incorporating more of my digital skills into my project life album. Um, I have a ton of digital skills obviously because I taught digital scrapbooking and digitally scrapbooked for um, 12 years and I feel like sometimes I can do so much more with digital than I can paper scrapbooking so I'm going to incorporate some more of these sort of digital skills into my project life next year so that's kind of a sneak peek at where we're going in the new year. The rest of this spread um, is all going to be um, Christmas Eve at my mom's. We actually didn't do much for Christmas so I don't have a lot of photos for Christmas and that's how it ends up every year. We have a quiet Christmas at home every year um, so the bulk of my photos normally come from Christmas Eve. So these are all of the um, family photos and things that we took on Christmas Eve as well. I'm just again keeping it simple card, photos, a few embellishment clusters, and we're good to go. I decided that that Merry Days card was a little bit boring, so I added those stickers to it. Actually, they were die cuts to it to sort of frame the sentiment. And I'm just kind of going through and adding in um, little, just little embellishment clusters to each of these photos just to add something to them. But I'm not too concerned about um, what I'm adding to them, just wanting a little bit of visual interest here and there. I'm going to add a raffia bow to this tag because I felt like the hole for the tag was really distracting. So this just adds another layer of texture too, which is kind of fun. I obviously went through and picked out all of my um, word strips and embellishments off camera, so that's why this is going so fast. I have a little 3x6 insert there just to expand how many photos I could stick in here. Obviously we took a lot of photos, so I wanted to make sure that I got in all the important ones. making this photo a little less awkwardly spaced by adding in that um, floral on that side in between. And a cute little banner at the bottom. Finally, one more photo. And we are good to go. So this is Christmas and the few photos I took of Christmas. I'm going to add this 
tag that I had made in the DIY Your Scraps video to this tag from the Simple Stories collection just because I like the layering. I took some, I actually took that photo of Joe is actually from a screen cap of a video I was taking. I didn't take any photos I so I wanted to make sure that I got that story told so I just went in and took a screen capture of the video. I'm going to use this um, washi tape banner and this took a lot of effort so I'm actually going to fast forward through this but I stuck red red line tape to each one of these little washi sh strips and adhered them one by one across the photo I'm just going to add in a couple of these little cute little flags from the Simple Stories collection to the actual banner itself. I used, on that side there, it was a card from my Fa La La Feelings collection, so I'm pulling out some of the word strips from my Fa La La Feelings collection to match. That red card, I actually added the journaling in Photoshop. Um, it was a quote from what Carson was saying about the present as he opened it, so I printed it out in Photoshop on that Follow Law Feelings journaling card, so I'm incorporating a little bit more of that um, Follow Law Feelings word art on that side as well, but I also have some of the Simple Stories lines, so I'm kind of just using both on this spread. I needed to add something to this photo, I mean to this journaling card, so I added in that fa la la. And this is the last page in the album. Um, I am going to do a couple more things before the album is done. I have to do the cover page still, so I'm kind of going through and figuring out what I want to add here. And I didn't have a photo particularly that I wanted to use, and then I remembered that I had a family photo that we took before we went to my mom's for Christmas Eve and it's kind of a funny family photo instead of a formal one so I thought it would be good to open up the album with. Now I'm just kind of going in and um, adding things where I thought maybe there needed to be something else. So I added Christmas to that photo and now this is printed so I'm adding Mary to this photo and this is going to go in the front. This is kind of how I always end up finishing off December daily albums is finalizing the front and the back pages and just kind of going through and making sure that I've got everything that I need. I decided to add this 18 so that um, the year would be in the beginning of the album. But I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I'm going to add it to this tag, and I'm just going to put the tag directly into the rings. And I'm going to let it overhang a bit. And of course I added sticky to the part that overhangs, so I had to wipe that off. Backing the tag so that you can, there wasn't that cut up motif on the back, and I just put Santa on the back of it. So I'm going to take that Santa card out since there was too many Santas on one spread. And instead I'm going to go with this um, jingle all the way. Tie the bow. And then I couldn't decide if I wanted it to be tied around the ring or if I wanted it to go through the whole of the tag. So I did both. I ended up not liking that, so I put it through the hole of the tag instead, and I just had to retie the bow and so that it would be pretty. I'm going to change these around so that the 18 doesn't cover up the photo. Last page is this one, and um, this is where I stopped counting down. So I decided to add 24 and 25 directly to this page so that um, it would be kind of like this is this is Christmas Eve and this is Christmas after here. 
So I add that Merry Christmas in the beginning or in the middle, and then I'm just gonna add in some um, glitter stars, some like of these little stars that I've been using throughout the album. I'm gonna add it in on this divider page, and I'm gonna call it good. So here come the stills, and I will definitely upload a flip through as well. But I hope you enjoyed this December Daily album. It's a little bit different this year, but I hope that was okay. And I thank you for watching. Thank you.